Today we are going to be discussing the Nikon N70 film camera. Mine is actually photographed at the bottom left of this title page and a couple photos that I took in high school on this camera are on the right side of this title page. So why is this film camera considered an augmented product? Well, the Nikon N70 is considered an augmented product due to the variety of supplemental pieces you'd need to or may want to buy in addition to the camera itself. These could include, but are not restricted to, film, interchangeable lenses, a camera strap, lens caps, micro or macro detachable lenses, developmental chemicals, and printing equipment. Total Value Proposition the Nikon N70 shoots clear photographs with either autofocus or manual focus, depending on the photographer's personal preference. It has a 35mm zoomable lens for detailed clarity. In addition to the standard 35mm lens, this camera can also utilize specialized lenses, such as wide-angled fish-eyed lenses or telescopic zooms. The Nikon N70 features include a rapid shutter speed for detailed photos of fast-moving objects. Unlike many other film cameras manufactured at this time, the Nikon N70 contains a built-in flash as well as built-in panorama mode. The last two features mentioned aid in obvious product differentiation as mentioned in Chapter 2 of our textbook. Nikon recognizes that both beginner and professional photographers are a target audience for this camera. Each consumer would likely want a high-quality film camera to take crisp photographs, when searching for the product, they would likely come across Nikon, a well-respected Japanese camera company. By focusing on creative and unique features, Nikon attempts to outrank their competition in user experience as well as product value. They also make certain that the product is manufactured well in order to ensure the consumer is increasingly happy with the product's performance over time. Keeping in mind the beginner to professional photographer range of Nikon's audience, the camera was differentiated from other cameras on the market at the time due to its unique user interface. This user interface made use of a combination of both function and set buttons, as well as a thumb wheel to control the camera settings such as aperture and shutter speed. This slightly unusual user interface was meant to make navigating settings easier, considering the digital interface would leave little room for confusion. Nikon also targeted professional photographers by adding a built-in panorama feature to the camera something that would normally have to be done by taking multiple photos in a straight horizontal line in order to capture the entirety of the landscape. This Nikon N70 allows the photographer to do just that, but with one simple flip of a switch. External versus internal influences. The main external influences that could likely affect target audience consideration for this camera are the expectations of the people around the consumer, such as a professional photographer's team, as well as the reference groups a beginner photographer may stumble upon during the research of this product. Another external influence could be the social environment the consumer is a part of. Some internal influences a consumer looking to buy a Nikon N70 could run into are frugality due to the steep prices of many film cameras, as well as bargaining or even agreeableness. Considering this camera is no longer being manufactured, you can only really find them on secondhand shops or websites. This leaves room for bargaining, but could also lead a beginner to agree to a price that is unfair considering the condition of the used product that they are purchasing. Another internal influence can be individual differences, as stated in Chapter 2 of our textbook. Utilitarian versus Hedonic Value Film cameras generally are considered more of a utilitarian value than hedonic value because it takes so much time to process um, the film over time so it wouldn't have an instant emotional effect on the consumer. The utilitarian value of this film camera would be that it captures crisp, high-quality photographs of both still and moving objects in either daylight or darkness. Like I said, hedonic value is not likely present with this film camera due to the waiting time involved with developing film and printing photographs. Last but not least, this is my Works Cited links. Um, each of these links goes to a website that I either use for research or for the photographs that I used in the slideshow that I did not personally take. Thank you!